Welcome back to East Coast Kayaking Team. Today, Fetch and Lee. Learning to interpret and understand Fetch and Lee. We have a chart of Port Phillip Bay. Yellow, sand doesn't get wet. Green, areas that are green is the intertidal zone. It's exposed at low, low tide and covered at high, high tide. Dark blue, light blue, white. Depth, dark blue is zero to five meters in depth. Light blue is five to 10 meters in depth. White is greater than 10 meters. We have Melbourne City. We have the refinery. We have the Williamstown Housing Commission Flats. We've got the Avalon Aircraft Control Tower. We've got the corner of Bay Road Reserve Road Tower. They are all human made features. Down here we have some physical features. Mount Martha and Arthur's Seat. Now, now, what's the first thing you do when you look at a map or a chart? You work out where you are. We are at Picnic Point, the Sandringham Anchorage. Then you need to orientate the chart to represent the real world. At the moment, this chart is indicating Melbourne City is in that direction. But that's not the case. Have a look over there. I can see Melbourne City in the distance. So, what do we do? We orientate the chart to represent the real world. We're here, cities there. We're here, cities there. Why do we orientate the chart? The most important reason is so we can interpret the wind direction. Paddling is all about the wind. Okay, here we go. Check this out, gang. We're here. A northerly wind blows from the north. An easterly wind blows from the east. A southerly wind blows from the south. A westerly wind blows from the west. So, we're here at Picnic Point. Let's say we had a northerly wind. Alright, if we're at Picnic Point and we had a northerly wind, what's that space where my finger's called? Well, that's fetch. Fetch is the surface area the wind has to create friction, which generates sea state swell and waves. Now let's say we were down here today and we had a northerly wind. That fetch is ginormous. This fetch here is very short. Fetch is the surface area from land over water to the land again. The wind hits the water and accelerates to its true speed. It starts to blow up swell. The swell gets bigger the swell gets bigger, the swell gets bigger, the swell gets bigger, the swell gets bigger. The swell hits shallow water and compresses and turns into waves. So, here we go. In relation to where we are, if we have a northerly wind, the fetch is short. The waves are small. If we had a northwesterly wind, what's increased? The fetch has increased, which means the swell has got bigger and the waves are ultimately bigger. A westerly wind, what's increased? The fetch. The swell has got bigger, the waves are bigger. A southwesterly, my favorite. Why do I love a southwesterly? For two reasons. The waves get big, the swell is big. There's also a bit of lee, more about that later. A southerly, the fetch is huge. The swell and waves are big. Here we go, getting technical here, a southeasterly. On this side of my hand, the fetch is considerable. On this side of my hand, the fetch is small. Now here we go, an easterly wind. Where's the fetch? The fetch is actually over here. The waves are on this side of the bay. The water is generally pretty flat here. An easterly, that's an offshore wind. More about that later. A northeasterly. 
flat conditions, where's the fetch? The fetch is on this side of the harbour. This is where the waves are. We'll consolidate the understanding of fetch when we're out on the water, if that's a little bit confusing. The next thing's Lee. Why has there been a kayak shop here in the Sandringham Harbour for over 30 years? Because we've got great Lee. What's Lee? Lee is leeward. Now, imagine there's a mobile phone in the middle of the bay, right here. Let's say we had a southerly breeze. The wind coming from the south. It hits the water, accelerates to its true speed. What happens to the wind when it collides with the phone? Well, the wind hits the phone and compresses and goes up and goes over, comes back to the water, hits the water and accelerates again. In relation to the wind, what's happening behind the phone here? You're out of the main flow of the wind. That's what we refer to as lee, leeward, out of the wind. So the wind hits the phone, compresses, goes up, goes over and continues on. In there, there's a wind shadow, lee. So let's have a quick look at our area, picnic point. The headland juts out and it protects us from a southerly wind. This little black line that goes out, which is the break wall for the Sandringham Harbour, protects us from a southwesterly wind and wave, a westerly wind and wave. Now it's not marked inside here, but there's a harbour in there. Lots of human made features which, which protects us from a northerly wind. Now, there's also cliffs along here, which means we've got protection at high tide up under the cliffs from an easterly wind. Lee and fetch. Lee is the key. You always land and launch in Lee. Where there's Lee, there will be no surf zones. Safe water. We always land and launch in Lee. Lee is your best friend.